Hello and welcome to another solo survival video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to tame an angler here on Ark Survival Ascended official PvP servers. Now in this video I tamed a level 45 angler at one and a half times taming rates because there was an event on. I used three regular kibble and it took 20 minutes and 28 seconds to tame. You will need 27 narcotic to keep it out during the taming process and also if you're using a 100% damage crossbow you'll need 19 narcotic arrows to knock it unconscious. You'll also need either a ichthyosaurus for this which is one of the dolphins or a sarco which is one of the crocodiles which is what I'm going to be using in this video. I should also mention you are going to need scuba for this. You could use Lazarus chowder but I'd recommend using scuba as it'll be a lot easier. Now that I have everything that I need, let the hunt begin to find an angler. Now I'd recommend finding an angler that's by itself with minimal aggressive dinos around as it'll make the taming process a lot easier. The benefit in taming an angler on official servers is that it's the only productive way to harvest silica pearls which is a resource needed in crafting electronics. So I found my first angler, but as I got closer, I realized it was part of a larger group and there was going to be too many aggressive dinos around. So I decided to search for an angler that was by itself with less aggressive dinos so the taming process would be easier. I started my search for an angler by itself in the opposite direction. Here I found two angler and it ended up being the higher level of the two which this one is level 45. It wasn't as high a level as I liked but I went for it anyway because I was more after an angler for the silica pearls so I could get my auto turrets up and running. So I just went with what was going to be easy. So for this you're going to shoot it and you're just going to circle around and kite the aggressive dinos away and then swim past it and keep circling the dino and the aggressive dinos will just keep following you around in circles as you go back and continue shooting the angler until it's knocked unconscious. The higher level the crossbow, the less narcotic arrows needed to knock out the angler, therefore speeding up the knocking out process. If you're after higher level crossbows, you just need to kill one of the alpha raptors and every now and again they drop a high level crossbow, pick or hatchet. I'm normally pretty good at this but on this particular time I wasn't doing a very good job at circling the tame and kiting the aggressive dinos out of the way. I'll just speed up this next section to get to the part where it gets knocked out.
I believe it was already knocked out at this point, but I gave it one more arrow just to make sure. As it doesn't affect the taming level if you shoot it a bit more, unless you put food in its inventory and then it takes damage. So now that I have knocked it unconscious, I'm heading back to base to get the narcotics and the food required to tame it, which was regular kibble. So I've just been to my base and I've got the narcotic and kibble. So I'm coming back to put it in its inventory. I put a few pieces of prime cooked meat in its inventory just in case the calculator was wrong and ensure this thing tamed correctly. So now I'm going to skip ahead to when the taming process was completed. Now that the angler has finished taming, I'm going to collect it. It does not need a saddle to ride, but I would recommend being in the area slightly before it finished taming, because once it's finished taming, the aggressive dinos in the area start going to attack it, as you can see by the two megalodons on my left. So here I just whistle passive and follow all, so that way it doesn't start attacking the aggressive dinos and I can swim it out of harm's way. It is fast enough it should be able to outswim all the aggressive dinos as I'm doing here. Just don't swim it too far ahead otherwise it'll stop following you and then it'll get stuck with the aggressive dinos. And as you can see here I'm just checking that it's still following me until I can get it back to my base. Once I get it back to the base, I'll be able to test out my new tame. So I safely got the angler back to my base and here I am just testing out my new tame. Here I am just harvesting the silica pearls. As you can see how much it gathers really quickly and easily even being a low level angler. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe to the channel for more Ark Survival Ascended official PvP videos.